we will do part 6 of chapter 4 that is in this we will do mediate inference mediate inference is a kind of deductive inference in which the conclusion is derived from two or more premises considered jointly syllogism is a form of deductive but mediate inference in which the conclusion is derived from only two premises taken jointly there are three kinds of syllogisms they are as follows first is hypothetical syllogism second is disjunctive syllogism and third is categorical syllogism now let us understand what is hypothetical syllogism hypothetical syllogism is a deductive argument in which both the premises are hypothetical propositions where the consequent of the first proposition is same as the antecedent of the second proposition from this one can derive a conclusion which is also a hypothetical proposition that contains the antecedent of the first and the consequent of the second proposition let us take an example the first premise is if you attend the lectures regularly then you can understand the subject second if you understand the subject then you can score good marks therefore if you attend the lectures regularly then you can score good marks here you can see that the consequent of the first you can understand the subject is same as the antecedent of the second it is you can understand the subject from this we get a hypothetical proposition which has the antecedent of the first that is you can attend the lectures regularly and the consequent of the second that is you can score good marks now we come to the second type of syllogism that is disjunctive syllogism disjunctive syllogism is a deductive argument in which the first premise is a disjunctive proposition which states alternatives and the second premise is the denial of the first alternative of the disjunctive proposition from this one can derive the conclusion which is the affirmation of the second alternative of the disjunctive proposition let us take an example either man is rash irrational or he uses logic second premise man is not irrational therefore man uses logic here you can see that in the first premises the two alternatives are man is irrational and the second is he uses logic out of these two alternatives if the first is negated that is man is not irrational then we get the affirmation of the second that is he uses logic now we come to the third type of syllogism that is cat uh, categorical syllogism categorical syllogism is defined as a deductive argument consisting of three categorical propositions that together contain exactly three terms each of which occur in exactly two of the constituent propositions so let us take an example first premise all books are informative second is no informative things are useless and therefore no books are useless in this categorical propositions we have three categorical propositions that is in this syllogism the categorical propositions are all books are informative is the first the second is no informative things are useless and the third is no books are useless why are they called categorical propositions which uh, we have already studied in chapter 3 that a categorical proposition is a general proposition having two properties or two classes so the first is also first second and third all the three are having 
are general propositions and they are having two properties each and then it they are having three terms that we are going to study all in detail in the next chapter but still we must know them so we are having subject term we are having the predicate term and the middle term the subject term of the conclusion is books and the predicate term is useless of the conclusion and then we are having the middle term which is in both the premises that is informative is the middle term so these three terms are there so we have studied the three types of syllogisms which are mediate inferences in this part of the chapter here we end this chapter but we have to practice a lot to score good marks in logic thank you